to the final aspirant now, which of course is the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But before then, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we're moving on now as I respectfully invite our very last aspirant for tonight, the one and only Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, S.A.N. Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Please welcome His Excellency. Please allow His Excellency alone to go on that stage to be received by the Chairman of the Planning Committee. Thank you very much. Thank you, DJ, give it up. Thank you, thank you, DJ. Thank you, Your Excellency, Vice President Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, S A N G C O N. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
grateful. Thank you very much. Let us. Your Excellency. Your Excellency, the President. Your Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR. Your Excellency, the wife of the President. Your Excellency, please, thank you very much, please. Your Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR. Your Excellency, the wife of the President of Nigeria, Haji Aisha Buhari, the President of the Senate, Distinguished Senator Ahmed Lawan, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Right Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila, the National Chairman of our Great Party, the APC, Senator Abdullah Adamu, leaders of our Great Party, the APC, members of the National Working Committee of our Great Party, leaders of our party, members of our party, Distinguished guests, all of our young people, ladies and gentlemen, the great Nigerian youth, the greatest of the greatest of the greatest Nigerian youth. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. First, let me begin. Let me begin. Let me begin on a solemn note. I join you and the good people of Ondo State in mourning the victims, men, women, and children of the heinous and dastardly terrorist act that took place at the St. Francis Catholic Church in Owo, and other victims of terrorism across the country. And I pray. That, their, that, their fam that the Lord God Almighty will comfort their families and that we'll never see a repeat of these heinous acts in our nation again. I'm deeply honored to stand before you today and to share this platform with 22 other exceptional members of our great party who today vie for the preferment of the presidential candidate of our great party, the APC. Like most of us here, I am a Nigerian. I was born here. My parents were born here. I went to primary, secondary schools, and university here. I have worked here all my life. This country has afforded me most of the education and opportunities and the worldview that I have. I have seen and experienced the great prospects of Nigeria. I know that it is possible for us to have a world-class educational system. It is possible to have a world-class healthcare system for all Nigerians. It is possible to establish a tech economy here in Nigeria. It is possible to establish a bitumen processing industry in Ondo, gold processing in Zamfara and Oshun, and exploit and process the finest precious metals and stones in the world, in Benue, in Plateau, and most of the North Central states. We can exploit oil and gas in the Niger Delta, in the Southeast, and now even in Bauchi and Gombe states. It is possible to, have to manufacture our vehicles in Ninewi. Already, Innocent Motors is doing great things there. We can open up steel plants in Kogi, establish Africa's largest industrial city between Ogun and Lagos. We can establish the biggest gas and petrochemical plants in the world. 
in the Niger Delta. We can sell fertilizer to Africa, as we already have one of the largest plants in the world, the Dangote refinery. We can sell shoes to the world. Already the Abashu cluster in Abia State sells over a million pairs of shoes every week to the rest of Africa. We can manufacture our weapons, our ammunition locally. DICON in Kaduna is already manufacturing munitions, manufacturing arm, manufacturing all manner of ammunition. And ProForce, a Nigerian company, Imperial, a Nigerian company, is making armored mobile platforms, armored personnel carriers, MRAPs, here in Nigeria. We can build drones, helicopters, and planes. Our Air Force is already manufacturing air platforms and manufacturing its own drones. And God helping us, in two decades, we can become the first nation on earth to send a team of all black men and women as astronauts to the moon. We have we have the talent, we have the talent, the resources, and the resourcefulness to be one of the world's leading economies. We have the guts and the confidence to beat the world. We can run an open, honest, and transparent government. We can ensure the rule of law. We can secure our nation from terrorism. We can provide good paying jobs for millions of young people. In this decade, we can lift a hundred million people out of poverty. We can give all women equal education, equal opportunities, and we can establish and we can establish a comprehensive social welfare program for the poor and for the vulnerable. Unfortunately, we are not starting from zero. We have already, in this administration, the administration of President Muhammad Buhari, begun the most ambitious infrastructure investment in the history of our country. We have revolutionized agriculture. Since 2015, young Nigerians have established six unicorns, technology companies, each worth over a billion dollars. Everything, everything, everything we can imagine or dream is within our reach. Everything. All that is left, all that is left, all that is left is for us to make the right decision tonight. And so we stand today on the threshold of history. To paraphrase Winston Churchill, so much depends on so few of us. 2,322 delegates will decide the future of our children and their own children. 2,322 persons will decide the fortunes of Africa's largest economy and the largest population of black people on earth. 2,322 people. What an awesome responsibility. What an incredible moral burden. The future of our children compels us and compels all of you, our distinguished delegates, to vote right tonight. We are a religious nation. We believe in the power of prayer. We all pray for a country that is peaceful and prosperous. But God allows us, by our voting, to show him whether we mean the prayers we pray or not. You cannot wish this country well and vote for someone you do not believe in. You cannot. So when you vote tonight, so when you vote tonight, so our dear delegates, so our dear delegates, so our dear delegates, when you vote tonight, be sure, our dear delegates, when you vote tonight, know that your vote carries the answer to your prayers for our country and for our future. 
that vote that you will cast carries the answer for the prayers that you have prayed for the future of our children and for the future of our country. Over the past several weeks, I have gone the length and breadth of this country. I've engaged with you delegates in the 36 states and Abuja, and I've engaged with members of our great party. We have had deep and wide-ranging conversations on the issues that are most important to us all as a nation. You have told me your hopes, your fears, and your dreams. We have risen together on the future of our country. I have also served for seven years by the grace of God as Vice President while at the side of President Muhammad Muhari, I have seen firsthand the nuances and complexities of the challenges that confront us as a nation. One thing is certain, our circumstances will not afford the next leader of our country any time to learn on the job. In discharging my duties, in discharging my duties, in discharging my duties as Vice President for the past seven years, I have been prepared in the most profound ways for the task that lies ahead. And I will be ready from day one. It is it is, it is for these reasons, it is for these reasons that I, Oluyemi Oluleke Oshibaju, by the grace of God, Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, present myself to you, our distinguished delegates, for your consideration as the presidential candidate of our great party, the APC. God bless you all, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless you. Oh, what a beautiful moment where the President of Nigeria, President Mohamed Buhari, stood up to give his VP a handshake for a well-deserved speech at the National APC Convention. See you, Levels, oh.